Hi, I'm Patrick Kleeman. I'm an amphibian biologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, and I study amphibians in California and Nevada. This past week, I was in Dixie Valley, Nevada, studying the Dixie Valley toad, Anaxorus Williams eye, and I thought I'd share some of what I found out there with you. Dixie Valley is in central Nevada at about 3,000 feet, and it's a small valley bordered by two mountain ranges, as we can see in this photo that I took from where I was camped last week. It looks very dry out there in the valley, and that's actually looking out at the wetlands. There are 760 acres of wetlands where this toad lives, and that's the only place on Earth it does live, and that's why it was recently listed as federally endangered. In the foreground, you see some shrubs and a couple scrubby trees, and in the distance, we see the Clan Alpine Range that still has a little bit of snow on the top of the mountains. The toads use both really dense habitat in the wetlands that's so thick with bulrushes that you can't walk through it almost. And then they also use little short grass areas like we're looking at here in this photo. This is typically where they breed and lay their eggs. So last week I was out there and I went out at night because I wanted to find the toads when they were breeding. They only breed at night uh, when they feel like they have enough protection from predators to be out there and be exposed. And in this photo, there are two toads. At first, you might think there's only one, but there's actually two. The small male is on top of the female, and he's holding on to her for dear life as they're breeding. And these toads are really beautiful toads. They have gold and black and a little white stripe going down the back of some of them. And they have what look like warts that are actually glands on their backs. And... In this photo, the female is actually laying eggs. There's strands of a gelatinous goo that's made up out of mucopolysaccharides and mucoproteins, but let's just call it goo. And in those little strands, there are these little black dots, and those are the individual eggs that will hatch after probably two weeks or so. And she's wrapping these eggs around vegetation as they're coming out the backside of her body. They typically breed around mid-April, basically the first warm weather after the winter. I went back the next day where I found that pair of toads breeding, and I took a short video of the egg masses in the daytime, and at the end of this clip, you'll see little black specks, and those are the hatchlings that have hatched out of the egg mass, and they are tiny tadpoles that will take weeks to develop, until they grow large enough to metamorphose into a little toadlet. I'm going to wrap up by showing you just a couple more pictures of adult Dixie Valley toads and play you some of the recordings that I made while I was out there. In this recording, you hear two toads. One's pretty faint, but the other one is making kind of a clucking call, and that's the main call that they make when they're trying to attract mates. And that's all I have for you. Thanks very much. Take care.